how to decide what programs to apply to, which website or sources are to be used for, for program selection. So traditionally, these are the online resources from AMA um, called Frida and Residency Explorer. Both are free resources to where you have a directory of residency programs. There are differences between the two, and I'll kind of focus on the differences because I think there are some exciting um, changes here in Residency Explorer. Um, Frida has always been there for many years. and um, But let's look at this Residency Explorer, which I feel gives much more information. Because, you know, when you're trying to decide which programs to apply to, besides looking at the geographic location, you know, one thing uh, for IMGs, and this is something I myself uh, had experienced is, you know, I really, you really, some of us really want to be in an IMG friendly program. We feel, you know, we're going to be able to integrate much better. And this explorer, you can kind of, you know, if you toggle this, it kind of goes from 0% to 100%. It uh, arranges the sequence of the programs based on IMG friendliness. What is IMG friendliness? No one really knows. Is it 10%? Is it 20%? Uh, no one really knows. I would say if it's at least 10%, that's a good start. 20%, then clearly that's a very good, um, you know, if it's 20, 20 applicants, 20 residents in a year, and 20% is four, four, right? Yeah, four applicants. That's pretty good. So, um, you know, four applicants, four IMGs among 20, that's a, I would say that's pretty IMG friendly. So Residency Explorer allows you to do that. Uh, Frida does not. It just pumps everyone under IMGs, but here you can see there's US IMGs, non-US IMGs. So I feel this is better. Plus, they have some more, much more information. So if you wanna look about a certain program, it will tell you some scores. What are the minimum scores needed? I don't really know if uh, based on the score, they're gonna filter out uh, uh, your application. Because uh, you know, sometimes folks may have a low score, but they may have other reason to be in that program, maybe family or in that location, or they might have done a rotation. So um, it's pretty variable. Some programs might not have score cutoffs. I, I do believe a lot of them want uh, to have applicants who have you know uh, first pass, uh, everyone has passed on the first attempt, but scores is a little bit uh, subjective. But at least Residency Explorer is allowing, giving that information. It gives information on, okay, you know, how, how many uh, non-US IMGs are there in a program. So this one was like from Beaumont Hospital where I did my residency many years ago. So I kind of pulled that information. And it also tells you which medical schools, uh, you know, the applicants are from which medical school in that program. There are some more, uh, there's more list, uh, but at least they've listed out the top, whatever, six, six you know, um, programs here. So the Residency Explorer certainly gives you more information. There are some, of course, you know, lists out there that you can purchase or companies doing that. But of course, you know, that's entirely up to you. But these are the ones, uh, the freely available um, 